I'm upset about the landfill because uh, I have uh, COPD, and the other morning it throwed me into an asthma attack, and I had to use a puffer just to get back to the house. It upset me pretty bad. Well, I have COPD. I'm on a sleep out machine and an oxygen concentrator, and it's getting to the point that it's affecting my health more and more. I can't hardly breathe when I get outside. I can't keep my yard up or nothing with the way it's done. I, don't, I get outside and sometimes wonder if I'm going to be able to get back. I have grandchildren that's over here all the time, and, and it's, if it's affecting me the way it is, it's got to be affecting them. And we try to li live in a community that we don't need something like this going on. We, we have every, everybody around all over the country wants to come to Benton County and use this as a dump station for anything they've got that no other place will take. And we're really actually fed up with it. You know, it's not only hurting our health, but it's hurting the property and everything else. And we don't need a, a, a problem like this. And whatever it takes to solve this problem and get rid of it, we're going to try to do our best to do it. It's just been a quiet, beautiful, a uh, place here and suddenly we begin hearing loud noises clang 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 when I go out to pick up my Jackson son early in the morning and I thought where's that noise coming from and then we began to have a terrible smell ammonia and I thought is somebody cooking meth in our neighborhood and some of the men in the neighborhood have found out exactly what is going on here and and we're really quite disturbed about it. I, I live right down just, uh, you could throw a rock and, and from my house and be over into the gravel pit. And uh, since it's been down, uh, since this come in down there, uh, the, the landfill, why it's getting hard for me to breathe and uh, I'm gonna have to start getting oxygen to, to breathe. And uh, I, I didn't think it was going to put anything down there. They tried to get me to sign papers to, for to be put down there, and I wouldn't do it. And, uh, I, I just don't think it needs to be down there uh, because it's uh, a lot of people around there is hurting. But we down there in the valley where it is, and it comes right through there, and it's a strong smell of ammonia and all through there, and. Uh, it's my wife, she's coughing more, and I'm coughing a lot, and I have a lot of uh, medical problems. And so uh, uh, I won't try to do anything that I can to get this stopped and to get it away from there. I own a tract of land, 6.7 acres, that joins this landfill. I had a contract on that piece of land to sell it for quite a bit of sum of money to me. And because of EWS and their uh, operation, this was canceled. Uh, that resulted in the, the project being being uh, canceled. And it was something order of magnitude of $250,000 that, that uh, I have not failed to receive because of this contract.